Good evening, fellow model railroaders. Tonight I have a what I will call a tractive effort test. Um, I have found the limit um, of cars that uh, my Atherin Genesis SD70 Ace will pull up my 3% grade. So the 3% grade actually ends about where it is and it continues on around all the way down past the elevator and starts at that corner. So as you guys will see here, these are all of the cars and it's a mix of gondolas and hoppers and box cars and everything. Just a mishmash of some of the stuff I have, some intermodal well cars with uh, containers, some double stack. Uh, some construction, a grader on there, trailer. and then I have these two true line bulkheads and they are fairly heavy because that is actual wood on there. So basically what I'll show you is is that uh, I'm going to jump right to speed step 10 and 20 and it is spinning and not going nowhere. So it will not start there. If it has some momentum, it will carry on around. You have to be on the boat at speed step 20. And uh, it will make it past the spot and then start the downhill again. So I'm just going to put the camera down. And this is going to be a test between the Atherin Genesis SD70 Ace and the Broadway Limited AC6000. And we're going to see if it will start this load. But I have to put the camera down so the cars don't all run away. Bear with me. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. So just let me get my controller here and uh, hit recall. And we will see now if she will start the load. And there we go. I started them both on speed step 10. So we'll stop it. And we'll start it again. And there we go. So there's a real world uh, proof that uh, the Broadway Limited AC6000 will start pulling the load where the Atherin Genesis SD70 stops. Um, earlier today I did a stall test and the SD70 and the AC6000 are very 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 closely matched um, but it takes well I'd say probably another eight or ten cars if I remember now uh, to stall the AC6000. So, Really, on a 3% grade, hauling this many cars is great. Both locomotives are very, very powerful. So as you can see, if you were to run two of them, or another helper, let's say if I put my Intermountain even, Intermountain SD40 behind uh, the uh, SD70, I'm sure it would start this and pull it no problem. And, and in the coming days, I'm actually going to, I'm going to, test that. I'm going to see if adding the Intermountain will, uh, how many more cars uh, you can pull in a uh, consist when you're adding the Intermountain SD40 because it's the probably the worst puller. It's tied for the Bowser C630 uh, for worst puller of the bunch. So that is that boys. So I just thought I'd share with you. This isn't biased. Uh, the AC6000 is my favorite locomotive right now, just on the brute force pulling power. I, I, I like that. And 
coming in pretty much at a tie is the Atherin Genesis SD70 ACE. And then, you know, I'm, I'm not biased towards one or the other. Um, but this video is for my buddy that says that the Atherin SD70 will pull the AC6000 10 times over. So, Greg, I kind of showed you there, didn't I? Anyways, boys and gals, I should say, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, hope you guys have a good, safe evening. And uh, happy model railroading.